President Bashar al-Assad issued legislative decree number 3 for 2013 that stipulates the establishment of the National Center for Curricular Development. The decree aims at adjusting general objectives of education and preparing relevant educational curriculas for the various phases, as well as amending set books in light of the scientific, educational and social developments. The Syrian cabinet approved the political program to resolve the crisis in Syria, which explains the tasks that the government will work on until the adoption of the national charter, which will be agreed upon by the people. The government also decided to form a ministerial team headed by Prime Minister to implement the plan. In this regard, the Council of Ministers called on the international community to support the political solution to the crisis in Syria and to work on combating all forms of terrorism. The Council of Ministers also gave its directives to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates to hold regional and international communications to explain the program and to call for supporting it. With regard to fieldwork, the Council of Ministers asked the Higher Relief Committee to provide humanitarian aid and facilitate their access to beneficiaries in collaboration with NGOs and relevant international organizations in and outside of Syria. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates sent two identical letters to the head of the Security Council and the UN Secretary General regarding the three-stage political program presented by President Assad in his speech. The Ministry pointed out that the program is based on the principles of the UN Charter, the relevant UN resolutions and the Geneva Statement issued on the 30th of June 2012. The program underlines the necessity to reach a political solution for the crisis through dialogue among Syrians. The ministry expressed hope that the UN would support the political program as it reflects the delicate understanding of the nature of the transitional stage and the views presented on all levels to end the crisis. The ministry concluded the letters by stressing that political wisdom at ignoring the gingers resulting from the support of some countries and powers to the armed terrorist groups and respecting the UN Charter and security and peace in the Middle East would pave the way to achieve the noble aim of preserving the lives of Syrians away from violence and foreign intervention in Syria's internal affairs. Russia expressed hope the ideas presented by President Bush's speech on the 6th of January would be... context international efforts to reach a solution for the crisis. The Russian Foreign Ministry pointed out in a statement that the Syrian leadership stressed its readiness to launch the Syrian to reform the country on the basis of respecting Syria's sovereignty, independence and the unity and safety of its lands, rejecting of foreign intervention, the UN Charter and Geneva Statement on the 30th of June 2013. Russian envoy to the Middle East Deputy Foreign Minister Mikhail Bogdanov said that the trilateral meeting among the UN envoy to Syria, al Ahtar al-Ibrahimi, and representatives of Russia and the US concerning Syria will be held in Geneva on the 11th of January. Bogdanov pointed out that he will represent the Russian party in the forthcoming meeting in which al-Ibrahimi's report on the latest developments on the situation of Syria will be discussed while the US party will be represented by Under Secretary of State William Burns. As they continue to chase fleeing terrorists, an army unit has eliminated six gunmen who were trying to plant mines on a playf Faya road in Hama suburbs. In Hama suburbs also, an army unit pursued fleeing terrorists in Atibe and Tildo in al Huli, inflicting heavy losses on them. Another unit destroyed a bus that was carrying terrorists and weapons in al Aqsar farms. More than 5 million students have started their semester exams with strong determination and perseverance, challenging the circumstances Syria is undergoing. The Ministry of Education has taken all necessary measures to render successful the exams process in all Syrian governorates. The Ministry of Education toured a number of schools and stressed that the government has been keen to provide all necessary requirements to render the exams process successful. Snow and heavy rains fell in Damascus in most areas over the past 24 hours. Temperatures have remarkably dropped, particularly in Erne, where snow was 1 meter thick, while in Suwaida, 20 centimeters, and Latakia, 15 centimeters. And Homs Education Directorate has decided to postpone the exams of the first subject for primary and secondary school students till the end of the blizzard. The Meteorology Department has expected the snowfalls to continue over most areas and the weather is cloudy and rainy in the region of the storms. We were like this, and we were like this, and we were like this,
سنسير بسوريا ومعها إلى مستقبل أقوى وأكثر إشراقا سنسير إلى الأمام لن يخيفنا رصاصهم لن يرهبنا حقدهم لأننا أصحاب حق والله دائما وأبدا مع الحق